Uh, we are very pleased to be seeing the launch of this new report uh, promoted in the Latin American region because it gives us an opportunity to evaluate how well governments in this region are doing to prevent violence against children and to protect all children from the incidence of violence. This study uh, recalls the commitments made by governments to adopt a uh, comprehensive national strategy or agenda on violence against children with very good public policies to ensure that all departments in the government are joining hands, are mobilizing resources and are ensuring uh, the implementation of the measures they um, have foreseen. Um, secondly, we see important developments in ref uh, consolidating the legislation in the countries. We have today four countries in the Latin American region with a clear prohibition of all forms of violence against children, the most recent Honduras. The third element in this report, which is of the fundamental importance, is the need for better data and studies and research on the impact of violence on children. Unfortunately, in most countries of this region, we don't have such system of data. We have a good example in Mexico, but certainly we need to invest in many other countries to make it part of the public policies of the government. And this is probably why most children in this region define their life with one word, and the one is fear fear of being on the street, of playing with friends, uh, of going home, or of suffering bullying or sexual harassment in the school. This is absolutely unacceptable and the region knows how to do better and we hope that the recommendations of the study will help the region change the pattern that has made it the most violent region in the world. We want Latin America to be known for being the place where children are happiest in the world, not suffering violence as no in other region. Now, we have an opportunity this year. We have the opportunity of commemorating the anniversary of the Convention on the Rights of the Child one quarter of a, uh, of a century. 25 years is a lot of time. We have learned how to do things well. We know the solutions to prevent violence and to eliminate it. And so the opportunity is to place it as a priority for the political agenda. With political will, governments can do much better and violence can be reduced to zero. This is something within the reach of one generation.